Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and welcome to Papaya Bang Bang Overview. Dude, what I'm looking at, like, what's going on? <laughs> From the overload of work this week, I feel like I'm already tripping seeing this game. Also, there is literally no information about it. I've been searching and searching. There are no trailers. You can't reach the developer site because it either doesn't exist or I get timeout. See what I'm working with nowadays? Like, that's the struggle of being on this platform. So Papaya Bang Bang is a slingshot action shooter game where in a very colorful 3D environment you either team up or play against the bots to dominate the arena with rocky characters and trying to set the record straight with KLSSSS. This is being developed by some French dev team which would be correct and I would believe that because we are not heads here. Breaking it down it looks like a full locomotion combat dueling project so that the definitely doesn't reinvent the wheel, though the visuals and art style, my god, are some of the craziest that I've seen if you look even at the details. I do love me some crazy concept, but make it like clear and well understood because I feel like in game I'll be just busy watching and contemplating what the hell is even going on. If the whole gameplay and mechanics make sense, then amazing for them, and it also begs the question for who it is for but watch it being the best quest game this year like you can't tell nowadays or predict anything like this whole day is a doozy one fingers crossed it's gonna deliver something and let's go bang bang with other people <laughs> Those are different projectiles, I see. Healing? Oh. Yeah, this is like an acid trip, <laughs> looking at the particles. It's interesting we put literally that in the slingshot and then launch it, but I wish it would be with a grab, not with a trigger. <laughs> Oh, that's healing. <laughs> huh. <laughs> also, you can't really pull very far back because it disappears. <laughs> Look, I can't turn. Wait, what? Uh huh. But again, we should be able to turn. But we can move on the line? I don't think I've ever tried the slingshot mechanics in VR. Looks fine to me. But I just don't like games where I have to physically turn. Okay, um, then let's just play something. I don't think anyone's playing in a multiplayer, so... Choose your gringo! I have no idea. Spirito Kumba! They seem to be people, but I don't know, that might be just a random hey, random name generator. <laughs> Chili 
con cola. Uh, no, those are definitely bots. Okay. What skills do I have? <laughs> limits where you can go There's a lot of HP around. Like the matches will be unbearable long. Does the shotgun does anything? Like only one player can be on one line. stuff getting that sweet experience okay uh, do we have something else okay here is to discover their actual skills and stuff so just unranked ranked I mean it automatically puts me with bots so I wonder what's like the wait times and stuff Probably long. And besides that, that seems to be it. I think it's just something that you have to really enjoy and playing up to a certain niche. If you're high on acid or whatever and love slingshots, that's it. Or maybe it's actually very appropriate for kids, unless this actually scares them, because I think if I would be small, this would not be a pleasant visual experience. It feels some kind of genre that we've been missing on our platform. Is it something that particularly interests me? Not really. But for its concept and the price point, like, 
it works. So I guess there's nothing wrong with that. You just need to pretty much do your research on every single character, but also they are very hard to recognize in actual gameplay. Like they're so chaotic that like I can't tell some of them apart even though they have a very unique designs. To me it's very specific and I'm not sure if it's gonna like be very well received by the grand public. But other than that, the mechanics and the slingshots, like, it's fine to me.